Good morning and welcome to another episode of your Soda Stream News. I'm your host, Control Brown. And I'm your host, Operator Ponte. Today, December 12th, a D Day at School of the Arts, not for weather. It's break! And now for your morning announcements. Today, Hillside students, Dio Teacher Tutoring has started on B Room A418. Today, from 2 30 to 3 30. If you have any questions, please see your group advocate. Study Center is now available in the library on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30. Students must arrive on time to be ready to work. Teachers are available for tutoring in the areas of English, Math, Science, and Social Studies. The track and field team had their first meet at Brockport College this past weekend. The team had a strong start with so much support for each other. Jay Sean Allen already hit the provisional sexual time in the 600. This time was a personal record for him and he was the second fastest underclassman in the event. Reese Correa placed ninth in the shot put in his track and field debut and was right on the edge of sectional provisional mark. The boys 4 and 2 by relay also performed well with clean handoffs all around. Awesome job track and field. The next meet is this Saturday at Houghton College. And attention all baseball players, open gym will be this Thursday from 6 to 7.30 here at Soda. If you're interested in playing baseball, please come out. And audition for Bloxy Blues will be today and tomorrow from 2.30 to 4.30. Today audition will be in the Black Box Theater and tomorrow audition will be in room A191. Attention softball players, open gym for this Wednesday is full. There is a room available for Sunday. If interested, please see Coach Veteran Mallet. Those attending this Wednesday, remember to dress warm and bring your gloves. Bus leaves at 2.40 sharp. If school is canceled for any reason, please be aware conditioning will be also canceled for that day and reservations and money will be applied to a future session. Reservations for January sessions will be accepted starting this Thursday. Dates and reservation slips will be given out this Wednesday. Any other questions, see Coach Vandermelle. And to all 7 8th grade boys interested in trying out for the modified basketball team, there will be a meeting today at, at 2.40 in the Commons. Plan on taking a 3.30 bus home. See Coach Pinero on A251 with any questions. In a very exciting game, the girls' modified basketball team defeated East in overtime, 25 to 24. Songa McCullough scored eight points, Jasmine Logan scored six points, and Maya Williams hit the game winner. Great effort, ladies, and great game. Next game is Wednesday at Franklin. Let's go, Silverhawks! The first meet of Mosaics was a success. With more than 30 students participating in the deciding the future topics, the next meet will be December 14th on a Thursday in Belowski Room, immediately after school from 2.30 to 3.30. The topic will be discussing and understanding the difference between racism and stereotypes. Everyone's welcome to join and listen in. And any questions, see Janelle Baker and Imani Diaz. Last night, the varsity girls basketball team played Edison Tech and lost 41-51, holding a team average that averages 75 points a game. They kept scraping away at the lead. Unfortunately, the 11-0 run Edison went on the beginning of the game was the defeat, and Soda actually outscored them the rest of the way. The girls played North East Northwest next on Thursday at 33. Please come out and support the team. Yeah. Thank you for watching. And tune in tomorrow for another sip of the Soda Stream News. And we'll leave you with a staff spotlight. My name is Zachary Johnson. I've been at School of the Arts for five years and I teach social studies 8th grade and 11th grade. Outside of school, I don't really participate in anything personally. I'm a big supporter, so definitely coming to School of the Arts shows as well as local uh, Rochester productions, whether it's Jiva or going to the art gallery, um, anything like that. I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Uh, I love School of the Arts. Um, Definitely one of the things that I notice more than any other place is uh, the connection and the support um, for students within the building. Also really just appreciate um, how much School of the Arts provides uh, students a, a real positive reason for being here that's more than just academic and family. Um, wife, who's a graduate of the School of the Arts, um, we've been together for yeah, a long time, 13 years now. Um, no children as of yet, but you know, now I'm getting the pressure from you guys too, and then I gotta hurry up on that. <laughs>